Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading for the possibilities that are coming your way. Remember that this reading does not necessarily have any specific date on it. Whenever this message finds you and whenever you find this message, then this reading will be for you at this given time. You are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Wow, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So somebody here has some kind of self-esteem issues. They don't believe in themselves. You know, it's almost as if right now this individual has been going through the energy of feeling a lot of chaos in their lives. Okay, there's also the fact that this person might be coming into a lot of information, and right now this information is overwhelming them. Therefore, they're kind of lacking the strength in order to move forward because there is some kind of energy here coming in where this person might feel a little bit overwhelmed. This could also be the energy of Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, does not have to be, but let's go and see what this is all about here for you. That is a Queen of Wands in the reverse. You also have here the Queen of Swords, the Emperor, the Four of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So in the recent past, something here started to pick up pace. You know, there was a lot of energy here that maybe the opening up of communication, a lot of, you know, energy here flowing forward. This, this situation started moving very, very quickly. There's a lot that you learn from it. However, okay, I do see that you are coming across as a Queen of Swords. So here you are kind of mastering something. I feel like there's some kind of level of mastery that you've recently gained. It's almost as if you finally understood the situation at a deeper level and you're like finally I could see things more clearly rather than emotionally okay so congratulations on that and could be an Aries doesn't have to be but the challenge remains that you know this kind of emperor energy this is something here of a masculine energy could also be a father figure for some but ultimately there is something here that is lacking okay something here with regards to some kind of leadership position some kind of leadership role I sense that for some it could also be that sometimes it's almost as if somebody here seems to have it all together on the outside when they actually don't you know they just kind of are are pushing ahead they are very strong in their nature because they've been through a lot okay they've been through a lot of challenges and so I feel like this is the way that this person has gone through their entire lives just showing up you know for whatever it is that is called of them you know maybe somebody here is calling for your help but I feel like this is just learned behavior, you know, from childhood who something that pushed you through some kind of limitation and maybe right now, maybe you kind of have to take care of yourself, of other people. And so you're kind of becoming that resilient person in the eyes of everybody else. But when you go back home, I feel like somebody here is very exhausted. You know, they're kind of like wanting the help, but they're not showing up as needing the help. Okay. So if this is you, it's time for you to allow help in. It's okay for you to, you know, allow other people to help you. It's, you know, in this situation or to get the help that you need. Okay. But right now this is going to be very, very necessary for you to come to terms with the fact that are you the one that's doing this or is it somebody here in your environment? Okay. Now here at the four of swords in the reverse, I do sense that there is some kind of energy where someone is not allowing themselves to rest. Okay. I feel like you've been through a lot. Maybe there's some kind of energy here that you're still trying to fight through and this is telling you surrender this is a time for you to surrender to that energy and really kind of rest your energies preserve your energy for something positive that's coming in your way now the root of the issue remains that this has to do with some kind of a soulmate union soulmate connection it could also be friendship related family related whatever this is but I do see that there's some kind of a soulmate union soulmate connection that is playing itself out it could be an energy of the past as well. Now coming towards you have here the five of wands in the reverse, the eight of pentacles in the reverse, the ten of wands in the reverse, the five of pentacles in the reverse, and the six of swords in the reverse. Don't get scared. I know that you're like, oh my God, they're all reversed. A lot of cards in the reverse are actually very positive, especially when they the dynamics between all of them. Okay, so don't worry. I'm going to explain everything to you. The good news is, okay, the five of wands is in the reverse. So guess what? Something here that has been causing a lot of friction is finally going to harmonize, okay? A friction between you and another person, it could be a confrontation, it's finally going to put kind of like an end to it. Something here is going to end this friction. Now, I do sense that here with the eight of pentacles in the reverse, again, this is telling you, stop putting in so much work, stop sacrificing so much of yourself for a situation that maybe does not even belong to you, okay? There's something here that again, 
you're showing up as a strong one, the resilient one, the one who always has solutions. But again, this is all bravado, okay? It could also be that this individual might be showing that part of them because they don't know how to show vulnerability. They're not comfortable showing vulnerability. Therefore, they overwhelm themselves. So this is going to be a very important week for you to drop the burden, the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Drop, drop the burden, drop the stress. Again, release what no longer serves you so that you can breathe once again. Now, here with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, congratulations if there has been something here that has been making you feel like maybe you're not good enough you're not worthy enough you are about to step into your own power and your own divinity with the five of pentacles in the reverse along with the six of cups could also be that you are finally healing an aspect of this connection that maybe you have taken on as your responsibility that now you now that you're releasing it you're seeing finally your worth and your value now that you're letting it go it's not going to be easy to, to let it go i do see here the six of swords in the reverse but at least you are making the move towards making those changes so congratulations on that and now let's clarify what this queen of wands in the reverse is all about here for you what is this queen of wands in the reverse you have here the well again beautiful energy the knight of pentacles in the reverse as well as the empress so if you have been feeling that there has been a cloud that has been hanging over you when is this going to end when is this going to finish finally you can breathe i'm breathing here with you okay so that cloud is finally moving away from your direction that slow moving process i feel like you're now taking charge you are finally entering your own divinity your own femininity again here you have the masculine and feminine energies. It's almost as if you've been so much in the masculine energy trying to prove yourself to be worthy of something. And now it's telling you, you need to relax your energies. Be more kind of like in that energy of relaxation. Again, it's all about you, you know, kind of recognizing that feminine part of you, whether you are male or female. Sometimes if you are a male, society has taught you, or even female, society has taught you that if you're not doing enough out there in the world that you're not worthy of anything right for women for those of you that might have you know have to you know maybe carry some kind of burden in the form of having to have two jobs out there and then you come back home and then you also have to take care of your children because perhaps you're a single mother or a single father again you're taking on all these roles and it's almost as if you're being pressured to take on that masculine role when it's telling you it's time for you to enter and to be comfortable with showing vulnerability and also saying, you know what? I need help. I need help in this area of my life. Or you know what? Talking to somebody else and saying, you know what? I cannot continue taking on your responsibilities. It's time for you to take care of your own responsibilities. Now, again, you are not in charge of whether this other person, this other situation has a good life. You are in charge of whether you do. Okay. And right now, this is all telling you and it's teaching you the clarity of of basically your own div divinity by you balancing out your feminine aspects and your masculine aspects, okay? Because a lot of times society puts a lot of pressure onto people where you have to prove yourself out in the, you know, out in the world to be, you know, worthy of even maybe for some of you guys are males. Maybe you guys have to, you know, this discard that energy of an old belief system where if you don't make enough money, then you're not worthy of love. You know, that's for some males out there. A lot of times women get you know, a little bit confused because they're like, well, my God, you know, this person, you know, I could tell that they really like me. There's, there's a lot of chemistry, but they're just not really, you know, settling down with me. They're not really wanting commitment. Why don't they want commitment? Sometimes it's not that they don't want commitment. It's that that person doesn't feel worthy of commitment. Okay. Because again, perhaps financially, they don't feel financially stable, et cetera, et cetera. But that's what I'm, I feel that is going on here for you. Okay. Now let's see who this other individual is here. Who is this other person? here in your energy you have here the three of swords in the reverse the hermit in the reverse as well as a king of wands so you are going to be meeting somebody who is going to allow for you to step back into your power into your bold energy here with the hermit in the reverse it's time for you to start kind of you know opening up to other people start opening up to new connections to new relationships be open to a new person entering your life someone who will suddenly mean the world to you or you will suddenly mean the world to this other individual and they're going to help you heal in some kind of beautiful transformative way now let's look deeper into this situation with this other new deck 
you have message of concern in the reverse courtship in the reverse as well as official person so this could possibly be an energy of a boss it could be a, a, a father figure a mother figure somebody here who you feel has control over the situation or you might feel like you know they're the ones who call the shots and so I do see here with courtship in the reverse and message of concern I sense that this person is no longer going to be a burden to you if you make these decisions for yourself this time around here with courtship in the reverse again Again, I sense that maybe you had been denying some kind of help that's coming in, you know, that new energy that we did see with the King of Wands, but now it's time for you to level up to that new kind of vibration in order to allow new people into your environment. Again, be open to a new person entering your life somebody here who will change your life for the better beautiful now if you do want to learn more about who this other person is and how the situation will all unfold for you go ahead and click on the description box below the link to the extended is down there that's where we dive deeper into the situation into the other person's subconsciousness their deeper thoughts about you their deeper feelings for you their next actions moves and more okay but before we go into that make sure to take the time right now to hit that subscribe button like this video give it a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell because when you guys do that it really helps me and it helps the algorithm so that i can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform thank you all so much for your support and back to your yes or no question so as i shuffle the cards ask a yes or no question and you'll be getting a yes or no answer to your question is this a yes or a no that one just wanted to flip out that is a definite no here with the page of swords you have to get more information there is a lack of information that somebody here needs to gather whether it's you know maybe you reading the fine print before signing a document or asking the right questions or also listening to what others have to say but also communicating yourself so there is some kind of information that you need to gain or gather before making some kind of final decision in an area of your life now let's see what the dice has here for you the number eight as well as a sign of capricorn you could possibly be dealing with a capricorn energy doesn't have to be will be dealing with one or this is just you embodying the energy of capricorn this particular week this is all about climbing that mountain until you get to the very top okay don't give up on yourself just because you haven't figured out how to get get there you are almost there now here with the number eight it's going to be very important for you to take a break from the world this week okay letting go of destructive behaviors and you know that nobody can do this part of your evolution for you but yourself so again this is all about, you know, signing up to get your life in order, to come up with a realistic plan to get things in order before they get worse, okay? Now, that's good information there for you. Let's go and see what your guidance affirmation mantra message is. So you do have here child of the cosmos. This could possibly be related to an actual child. Doesn't have to be childhood wounds, childhood issues, or it could also be related to some kind of childhood mm, scenario that maybe there, there, there needs to be some kind of resolution. Okay. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. Beautiful. So again, it's also reminding you that you are ready for whatever it is that you want to start in your life, but you have to believe in yourself because you have all of the knowledge of the universe within you you this is what i have for you this week thank you so much for watching and i have partnered with psychic source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only 10 dollars and an additional three minutes for free make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout the link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below in the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below.